It's about fighting for the American people. I have a position here where I can hopefully make a difference and I intend to fight for it. Christian Saucier says he got his life back after a pardon by President Trump. And now he says he'll sue the Department of Justice, former President Barack Obama and former FBI Director Jim Comey for monetary damages. Hillary Clinton and others weren't held to the same standard that I was. The former Navy sailor served a year in federal prison after he pleaded guilty to taking pictures of a submarine he was working on. Those pictures contained classified government information. The presidential pardon in March cleared his name and felony conviction, but Saucier, who lives in Arlington, Vermont, says he was treated differently than former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Saucier claims her use of a private email server for government business was worse than anything he ever did. They basically said that she was not guilty and she'd showed no intent, but she engaged in the very same activity that I did. While the then FBI director publicly recommended no charges against Clinton in the weeks before the 2016 election, he called her, quote, extremely careless in a handling of classified information, but showed no malintent. Saucier and his attorneys used the same argument in 2016, but prosecutors said they were, quote, grasping at highly imaginative and speculative straws, according to documents published by Politico. Now he's returning to court, not for the money, he says, but to make a point. And they could do this to anybody out there tomorrow. Liberal, Democrat, you know, I mean, it's, it's not a matter of, of labels. It's a, simply a matter of being an American citizen. And um, I think we all need to stand up for that. Now, Saucier says he and his lawyers filed an intent to sue back in December and that the government has six months or until the end of June to respond. He says if they don't hear back by then, that he and his lawyers can get the ball rolling on a lawsuit. From the live desk, Tom Garris, NBC5 News. Tom, thanks. We'll be watching. Well